Hey guys, what's going on? Mike here with Mike's RC Car Review. Um, today we're going to do the T-Max transmission. Um, you'll have to change out the um, gearing in it. You'll have to do the uh, single speed, the um, single speed gear swap, and also the um, forward only swap. And I'm going to also do the uh, 5153X, I believe. It's the upgraded uh, spur uh, clutch gear. Um, the, the original design of the T-Max clutch system um, you will pretty much melt the whole thing, the, you know, the whole gear and everything up. So they, you know, you know, a lot of people say to go with the uh, the upgraded uh, the clutch. That way, there you don't melt all your gear and keep having issues with it. So let's get into it. Do a whole transmission tear down so you guys know exactly how you need to go about changing all the gears in this. I'll put a parts list um, in the in the description below that will give you your forward only um, and your single speed and the clutch the clutch upgrade kit. Um, then they all come with all pretty much just pulling apart and put it together. So we'll go ahead and get into this, take it apart, and I'll show you step by step of how to do it. So let's do it. All right, all it really is to get this transmission out of the truck is eight eight bolts that hold it, or screws, I should say, that hold it right here on this on the flange part uh, of the transmission here. So you just take those four on each side, and the transmission will pretty much pull out. So the first step to this is you're gonna have to pull off your drive, your drive shafts, your uh, forward, the front, and the rear drive shafts. Pull them apart, and then you'll take out the, the screws on the outside of the case. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so the next step is we have to remove the screws that go all around the housing. Okay, this is what inside the T-Max transmission looks like. This is with all the upgraded gears in it. Um, I'll go ahead and go through what all you have to do to change out. Um, the best thing is to start with the top. This is your uh, spur clutch gear. You'll have to remove that one first, and this is the upgraded one. Uh, I'll show you in a, sec in a second um, why there wasn't a full video of how to remove that because I actually had an issue with it. So let's do this first, and then we'll go back, and then you can see the other one. And this is your forward only gear, and this is your single speed gear. And there's the inside of the case. Uh, this would be a good time now to change out any bearings or anything that you may see uh, worn out that, that or that just doesn't look like it would be in the grazed condition. This would be the time now to change them all out. Alright, so this is the original the original um, spur clutch. Um, I had to end up cutting it out with an angle grinder. I couldn't get this plate off. It, like the plate itself, because it's, it's got, it's like keyed, but it was twisted enough to where it, the shaft was to where it wouldn't allow this to come out so I ended up having to get an angle grinder and cutting this out so that's why I really didn't show this in the, in the video um, so but this is what I had to do to, to get it out and the next the other thing is too um, the gear that comes with the, the kit the 5153X kit um, the gear that comes with it is actually too big you can't fit the gears in the mesh isn't correct um, so you had to have to punch this rolled pin out of the original shaft, which was on here. You had to have to punch that out, and then you. This is the gear that came with the kit. I mean, it's just it's not the same size as you can see, and the depth isn't right either. So I wasn't able to get it all back in. And this is a trick that no one else really explains. Um, the only reason I found it was when someone else did the conversion and I ended up asking them and this is what they came, ended up telling me and it worked perfect. So remove this, this is the stock one that comes on the upgraded kit. Remove this, you have to punch out the rolled pin out of there and you have to punch this one out of the uh, original spur, the spur gear for the inside of the transmission. And it pretty much goes back in the same way. Just put it back in. There you go. 
And all you have to do is put your case back together and you're good to go. A good time now too would be to add uh, some grease to the gears before you close it all up. You want to make sure they stay nice and lubed up. You don't want them to run hot or dry. Uh, you're, you're, then you'll be having issues later on down the road. All right, well, we'll go ahead and button this all up, and I'll add a little bit of grease to it because it is a little bit, um, a little bit dry inside of it. Go ahead and put the case back together. You don't want to force anything. You want to make sure everything slides in nice and neat. You don't want to try to force it because then something's binding up and then you're going to have issues. So you want to make sure you do it right the first time and not have to tear apart. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. You can actually hear the grease inside of there. That's a lot better. Alright, so next step is go ahead and add the screws back to everything. Alright, now it's ready to go back in the truck. Everything's all nice and moved up. You got your forward only and uh, your single speed and the clutch upgraded kit, upgrade shaft kit. So let's go ahead and throw it back in the truck. Alright, well, we got the transmission ready to go inside the truck. Um, make sure your uh, output shaft for your spur gear is pointing towards the rear of the truck. So you want to go ahead and get your drive shafts in before you bolt it all up. That way, it's a little bit easier. Just slide that front one in. Hold your transmission up a little bit. And make sure it's all lined up. And it's been a little bit of a pain in the butt. And then there you go. Then put your rear on. Line your holes back up, flip the truck around, and we'll go ahead and screw it all in. There you go. You're ready to go. Now all you have to do is just put together the clutch kit, all the pads and everything, um, which the instructions come with it. So it tells you exactly how to do it all. And we'll go ahead and do that part now. Okay, this piece here will go on to the shaft. And it'll slide on like this one on the shaft, but you'll have to put in the pin they give you on the shaft first. So put this on the, on the, on the truck first on the shaft and then this will slide in if you look this has got a key in it so it'll, it'll key right in and once all that's on you take the shim and slide the shim right over it like that and then you're good to go on that and then we'll have to assemble all of this okay so you want to go ahead and put the friction pads on these pins as you can see here they got little raised pins so you want to go ahead and put those on but make sure you apply even pressure so you don't snap these pads and it should just slide right in yep just like that so you want to do all three of them even pressure you don't want to you don't want to force it you want to make sure they slide in nice and nice and tight all right so we go ahead and got those in Next, we're going to start assembling everything onto the spur gear itself. Okay, go ahead and slide in your bearing. Just pop right in. Yep, just like that. And then your clutch pads and everything are going to go on the back side like this. And this is where you go ahead and add these in these little Allen screws. Put those in. It's all there. Next is we're gonna have to put this into the truck. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, this is a slipper disc, not a um, shim that I said it was. Sorry about that. So this little plastic, or not plastic, this little metal. That's a slipper, the slipper disc. So I go ahead and get keys in there. 
sure it's all heating, right? There's little notches where this slides into. It. Okay. Now it's time to take your spur gear and go ahead and slide the spur gear on. Now that's on. Now it's an important part for this next uh, part of it. Um, I'll show you the directions because there's no way I'm going to try to be able to hold the two, the uh, two um, um, washers. They're actually cupped. If you can see here, uh, it's the one's got an up cup and the other one's got like a down cup, or however you want to say it. But you got to put them like that. If you put them the same way, it's not going to work. And when tightening down your um, the nut for your um, slipper, there's fins on the back of that plate. Go ahead and slide an Allen down into it, and don't go crazy with it. But I mean, you can see that there's key like key points in here. Go ahead and put it in there, and then we'll start tightening up the uh, the nut. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Slide on like that. Go ahead and get nut. Nut on. See how it's already starting to spin. So we'll go ahead and have to get an Allen. And we'll go ahead and get the, uh, the the tool to go ahead and tighten that up. Being 20 years into the hobby, you come up with some pretty cool tools. Um, here's a tool that you can use. It's got two different sizes on it. I don't think the sizes are actually stamped. Nope, they're not. So, but you can probably pick up something like this at your local hobby shop. So go ahead and just take this. Make sure you keep pressure on it so nothing comes loose. Slide that on. And I'm going to go ahead and just slowly start tightening it all up. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. See? It's already turning the wheels. So there you go. That is how you do your upgraded pad clutch system. Your gears in it, forward only, and um, a single speed. So there you go. Alright guys, well that's all I got for today. It's T-Max. Um, we did the uh, forward only and the single speed and the upgraded spur gear clutch. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of this video. This was my first video of how to, so bear with me on that. Um, I will get better as time goes on. Uh, hopefully you guys like my channel. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. And hello, and uh, hit the bell button so you guys know when new videos are coming out. I'm gonna do a series on this. The next is we're gonna be uh, installing the motor stand, the motor mount, and the motor itself and the ESC. Um, and then um, I have two 2S lipos. I'm gonna go ahead and build a um, a connector to put them in series, so we'll get 4S out of this, so we can see really what this truck can handle. Um, I don't have any 4S batteries, I got 3S, but I really wanna see a 4S because that ESC I have can handle a 4S. So, hopefully you guys like this. Catch you next time.